Welcome to Tinkernut.com's video cast. Please submit any request to Tinkernut.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can send an email from someone else's email account. This is also called email spoofing. And the reason I'm doing this is to show email account hosters this vulnerability so that they can protect themselves from it. Now, the first thing you want to do is go to Control Panel and Programs or Add and Remove Programs in, in XP and go to Windows Features or Windows Components and make sure that Telnet is installed. And then what you want to do is go to the Run Command and type in CMD. And in Vista you'll have to right click on it and select Run as Administrator. Then type in NSLOOKUP and hit Enter. And then type in set type equals MX then hit enter and then type in the email host. In this case it's blue bottle but it could be hotmail.com or gmail.com or yahoo.com and then type in exit and what we're looking for is this mail exchange server up here and we're going to use that by typing in telnet and then that first mail exchange server whatever it is and then type in port 25 and hit enter and if they're not protected you'll see this screen so you can type in mail from colon and then put in any email address that you want it works with any email address and in some pro in some versions of this you have to enter in brackets around the email address like I have to do here and if it works it will say sender ok when you hit enter then type in the recipient rcpt2 colon and then whoever you're wanting to send it to and uh, this is my example email address and then you can hit enter and if it says recipient OK type in the word data hit enter again and now you can type in the subject or the uh, the message that you're wanting to send and so that it doesn't get blocked out by spam I'm making it as realistic as possible first I'm entering in the date and then the from address then the uh, to address and by the way I'm gonna leave this uh, email address that I created up so if you wanna practice with it you can send stuff to this I, I don't mind I'm just gonna delete it anyway and then I'm gonna type in the subject and for this example I'm just gonna put punct and then the body and then when you're through t hit enter and then you have to hit period and then hit enter again and it will close the uh, the message and it will say message accepted for delivery then type in quit now if you're hosting an email account and you don't want this to happen to you um, here's an example program or an example service that will block that for you you can find any of them just do a google search but make sure it blocks telnet access alright that's it for this tutorial for more go to tinkernut.com